One night, while Sarahi was asleep, her daughter Regina was suddenly awakened by the sound of a cat coming from the nearby closet. Since the family does not have any pets, this was already unsettling. Regina began recording as she investigated the source of the noise. What happens next, however, is truly horrifying. Watch and see for yourself. Están empezando a escuchar ruidos. Escuché como un gato. Como dos gatos que se estuvieron peleando dentro. Oh, se escucha mucho. Su hijo se está abriendo el closet. Pero voy, voy a checar porque parecen gatos. ¡Ah! A chilling pale face is visible watching her through a gap in the closet before it quickly moves away. This encounter left her deeply shaken but it was only the beginning. A few nights later, they continued to see something lurking in the corners of the house. At the same time, whatever it was seemed to avoid them, blending into the darkness. Late one night, Sarahi and her daughter hear noises coming from the kitchen and decide to investigate together. The following night. They hear the sounds of a cat again and try to address the situation. Te estoy grabando, ¿quién eres? ¿Por qué estás aquí en mi casa? ¿Tú no eres un gato? ¿Tú no eres un gato? Te ordeno que te vayas de mi casa. ¡Ay! ¡Ay! No manches, no manches. ¿Qué es eso, Regina? Se abrió la puerta, se abrió la puerta, se abrió la puerta. ¡Uy, güey! Se me abrió la puerta. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. vámonos. Regina, están tocando. Prendelo. Ya le hablé a la policía. Y ahorita va a venir. Tráeme un palo, Regina. Tráeme algo. Tráeme algo. Va a venir ahorita la policía. Corre. ¿A qué estás molestando aquí? Ya te había sido. ¿Qué quieres? ¿A quién quieres? ¿A quién quieres? ¿A Regina o a quién quieres? ¿Cómo que a mí? ¿A quién quieres? ¡Vete de aquí! ¡Vete de aquí! Se paró. ¿Quién? ¿Quién chingados eres? ¿Quién te mandó? Something appears to be lurking in the dark room, mimicking the sounds of a cat. Concerned for their safety, Sarah, he calls the police. When they arrive and search the property, they find nothing unusual. However, since that night, the disturbances have ceased. Sarah Hai and her daughter now believe it was some sort of witch. As always, this case remains a mystery. Candice Gardner and her husband attended a Halloween party at an abandoned prison with a notorious and haunted reputation. In hindsight, it was a grave mistake. Candice reports that throughout the night, she had a constant feeling of being watched. Since that event, unusual occurrences have begun at her home.
she now fears that a malevolent entity might have followed her from the prison. A dark spirit intent on causing harm to her and her family. Following their visit, Candace has noticed unexplained activity in her home. Lights flicker on and off at night while she and her husband sleep, and doors open and close by themselves. Most alarming of all, the spirit has started to aggressively throw objects at her. These frightening incidents continue to escalate, as it appears that the entity is intent on causing serious harm to Candace. <laughs> While Candace is sleeping, she begins to wake up feeling intense, painful attacks, as though an invisible force is roughly grabbing or pulling at her. She claims to have captured evidence of this. Late one night, Candace and her husband fall asleep on the couch while watching TV. During their sleep, a CCTV camera in the room records something truly horrifying. Candace's leg appears to be seized and twisted painfully into the air by an unseen force. She wakes up in a panic, calling out for her husband to assist her. All he can do is grab her leg and pull it back. Eventually, he manages to free Candace's leg from the mysterious force. However, Candace is left sobbing in pain and fear. After watching this footage and hearing Candace's desperate cries for help, the video is quite compelling. Do you believe that a dark entity followed Candace home from the prison and is now violently haunting her home? Share your thoughts. As for Candace, she reports that her family continues to experience terrifying paranormal events to this day. Many paranormal YouTubers create videos exploring and documenting abandoned houses, churches, or schools. However, it's rare to see anyone explore an abandoned barn. But Travis Say did just that in December 2020, with truly chilling results. The moment Travis even slightly opens the barn door, he hears something terrifying. Listen to this very carefully. Сейчас вот вышел, и шумит кто-то непонятно. Эй! Эй! Сука, тварь ебаная, блин. Эй! У! Naturally, he is somewhat reluctant to investigate inside after this so he cautiously examines the outside area a bit more. Just when it seems that the noise has subsided, he hears another sound that unsettles him.
Ты кто такой вообще? Йоу! Just a minute later, Trevor directs his camera into a crevice in the barn and captures something very strange and unsettling. Given his lack of reaction, it's likely that he did not see it while filming. However, towards the end of the video, he manages to capture something very similar. Trevor never fully enters the barn and I can't say I blame him. If the unsettling noises coming from inside weren't enough to convince him that someone or something was hiding there, the disturbing face that occasionally appeared certainly would have been. What do you think was lurking in the barn? Was it a disturbed person, a strange animal, or something else entirely? Share your thoughts in the comments. Few months ago, this video uploaded on social media and went viral. In this viral clip, we can see the infamous La Llorona. According to Mexican folklore, La Llorona is a vengeful spirit whose mournful cries for her lost children are heard through the night. In the video, the person recording claims to have been awakened by the sound of a woman crying outside their house. The crying persisted for some time before they decided to investigate, and what they saw left them profoundly shaken. The person looks out of their window and sees something or someone in the shadows with what appears to be glowing eyes, accompanied by the sound of weeping. But what exactly is it? The uploader and some commenters suggest it might be La Llorona, the weeping spirit. However, others argue that the short length of the video raises suspicions about its authenticity. What do you think? Could this be the notorious ghost La Llorona? Or is it just a carefully planned prank? Late one night, this individual's ring doorbell camera captured something unforgettable. As he was about to begin his day, he suddenly felt an inexplicable chill. Soon after, he received a notification on his ring app about movement at his front door. With a sense of unease, he checked the app and saw this. A mysterious figure walks past his front door, appearing like someone returning from a morning jog. But the camera only captures their feet. Whose feet were those? Could it be some form of advanced stealth camouflage? A camera glitch? Or something more ominous? Such as the spirit of someone who was in an accident? With so little known about the neighborhood and its history, this remains an unsolved mystery. What are your thoughts? Let us know. Ian from the Midwest Ghost Hunter YouTube channel set out to investigate the notoriously haunted Malvern Manor. Located in Iowa, this manor is surrounded by rumors of numerous spirits haunting its halls. Originally a railroad inn, the property later became a nursing home and then a care facility. Many people have died there over the years with numerous stories of former patients still said to linger in the manor, Ian anticipated a significant experience. Equipped with his gear, Ian entered the manor with determination. As he moved through the hallways and peeked into various rooms, he began asking questions. 
It was then that he saw something that left him visibly shaken. Hello? Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god. There was someone over there. Holy shit. I literally just saw a figure peek out of that room over there. It peeked out and it was looking right at me. Holy shit. Could you peek out again? Okay, there's definitely somebody in there, which means I have to go check it out. Ooh, yay. Who's in here? Who's in here? I just heard somebody in here. Could you make your presence known? Oh, what the? <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. The blinds are freaking moving. Holy sh are you seeing that? Thank you, whoever you are. I really know you're in here with me now. Is there a way you could tell me who you are? I'd really like to know. Are you a resident here? Was this once your home? <gasps> Holy sh! It just did it again. An unexplained noise led him down the hall where an invisible force began to move the blinds, possibly as a way to signal that he wasn't alone. He then proceeded to a room that had belonged to a former patient named Grace. Grace? Are you in here? Hello. I might have another K2 session. I'm gonna put this device on your wheelchair, okay? I'm just gonna set it right there. If you're in here with me, could you set that device off? Oh wow, there you are. Thank you. Guys, I am getting chills all over my arms. Grace, are you sitting in this wheelchair right now? Before I even finished. Grace, are you able to see me right now? If so, touch the green light. Oh, wow, yes. Thank you. This might sound really strange, but I can't see you right now. I don't see you at all, Grace. Are you aware that you passed on? Oh my god, I just heard a voice. The K2 meter flashed several times in response to his questions. Then, unexpectedly, a disembodied voice was heard from just a few feet away. As Ian continued his attempts to communicate, the situation took a chilling turn. I am hearing her voice. I am hearing her voice in here. It's very faint, but I could definitely hear it. Grace, what do you mean when you say that the devil is after you? Who is the devil? Oh, oh. That was a fucking deep voice. Holy shit. Ooh, that was terrifying. Whew, come on, Ian. Get it together. Are you the devil that is after her? Oh, what the f Oh, what the f No, no, stop, stop, stop.
several deep, menacing voices emerged from the darkness, and as Ian pointed his camera at the wheelchair, it inexplicably rolled towards him. This unsettling experience left Ian speechless, with adrenaline coursing through him. Despite what he had just witnessed, he continued to another part of the manor, where, as anticipated, the activity persisted. Could you make a sound where you are? That sounded like a cry. A ghostly sound of a woman crying was heard coming from down the hall. Naturally, Ian, being Ian, decided to investigate further. However, once he entered the room, the situation quickly turned frightening. Oh my God, I think this is, this is Rebecca's room. This is Rebecca's room. Rebecca, are you in here? I thought I heard you. Is it okay that I'm in your room? Oh my goodness, it is suddenly cold in here. I am getting chills all over my body. <gasps> what was that? What was that? As he moved his camera to the left, a ghostly white face appeared in the mirror. This eerie face clearly had two eyes that seemed to stare directly at Ian before it quickly vanished. Could this be genuine evidence of the paranormal? I'll leave that to you to determine. To see the rest of the investigation, be sure to watch the full video on the Midwest Ghost Hunter channel. The Paranormies have returned with their latest video, where they investigate the Sinister Farm, reputed to be an exceptionally eerie and haunted location. By the time they arrive, it is already dark and gloomy, and they rely solely on flashlights to navigate. As they explore the exterior of the house, they overlook something truly frightening in the top window, which appears and vanishes in an instant. Watch and see for yourself. This place, all the like, glasses shattered and stuff. So it's gotta be that window? It'd be that window, and barn, upstairs. find the light back here. A few minutes later, they are inside the farmhouse, trying to communicate with any potential spirits. One of the men asks the spirit to say the word farm if it is in the room. He hears a voice and then asks, Who are you? The response he receives is deeply unsettling. Yeah. If that was you, can you say farm? Who are you? Demon. demon? That's a clear demon. Yeah, I heard that too. Towards the end of the video, a crew member is in the upstairs area of the farmhouse examining the eerily quiet room. Suddenly, the room is no longer silent. Boy. Johnny. Did you hear that? What was that? I heard something. It was this light bulb, dude. A light bulb. Look. 
Oh my god. That wasn't already there? No. The group is almost ready to leave, which is understandable. But before they can, the spirits in the house deliver one final scare. And I'll grab this camera. <clears throat> and then let's uh table tipping. Yeah. I kinda wanna just show Is that what it's called? It's called table tipping, yeah. It is? Okay. I didn't know if I had like an official name or something. Okay, yeah, so I kinda wanna set up a camera in that corner there, and I wanna set up a camera either in this corner or Dude, what was that? What? The Sinister Farm is undoubtedly one of the eeriest farms I've encountered online recently. Fortunately, the paranormies were not harmed or excessively frightened during their investigation. We can only hope that if they return for another video, they will be safe from any harm caused by these spirits.